Hey, what's up you guys? Guinea Piggies Designs here and today I am bringing you episode 4 of me sewing my own items for my cage series. So basically in today's video what I'm going to be doing is cutting out more fleece. I'm going to be cutting out the second pieces for my rainbow set and I'm cutting out some pieces for the woodland animal set because I did have a lot of this fleece. So in today's video, here's what I cut out. So I cut out the remaining pieces of the star fleece here for the rainbow set. Now I didn't want to pick it up because I do not want to get any of these pieces mixed up, which is why I'm just leaving it there. The only thing with the woodland print, I didn't have enough of this star fleece to make the foam tunnel and the long snuggle tunnel, so I'm gonna be using a different fleece for that. But for this one, I did have 16 yards, so in case any of you are wondering, and if you're curious of what I cut out in this video, you can refer to my episode one, which I will have it linked down below. And also you guys, I just want to say a quick note because I've been getting a little bit of comments about how I am doing this series and I think maybe people are misunderstanding this series. So really quick, maybe I didn't make it clear in my first episode that in these series that I'm doing in each video, I am basically showing you how I would make a cage set, how I would go about it, if that makes any sense, which is why I am being a little bit repetitive in these videos because I decided to do these videos step by step instead of including all these steps in one video because then it would be super long first of all so I don't want to make super long videos I just want to make short videos that way you guys can easily follow along without having to watch you know a 30 minute video of me doing the same thing over and over again and that way it gives you guys the option if you do not want to see me cutting something over again you don't have to watch that episode if that makes any sense in the description of every episode that I do make I will tell you exactly what I am doing in that video so if you didn't want to watch it you could always read the description first and see if it's a video you wanted to watch but this is by no means a tutorial where I show you how to do one thing and I take you step by step by step on how to finish it. This is a tutorial of how I would do a custom order or make my very own cage set and how I would do it step by step by step. I don't work on one item at one time when I do a whole bunch of items. I do make a whole bunch of items at the same time. That way, when I get to the finishing process, every single item that I'm making is going to be close to the finishing process at the same time. If that makes any sense but when I get to that part in my series you'll see exactly what I'm saying so again if these videos are getting repetitive you do not have to watch every single video but for this video I am adding on to my episode 1 and my episode 3 so if you guys want to see how I cut out the first pieces you guys can refer to those videos and I will have those linked down below but anyways if you guys want to see how I cut all those pieces I showed you earlier go ahead and keep on watching all right so for the first step what I'm gonna be doing is cutting out two two by four cage liners so so I'm going to be cutting out two 35 by 63 inch pieces and also for the rest of this video I am using the pieces that I cut out in episode 1 to trace out all the pieces I need for the remaining items that I'm making for this set and also Everything I'm cutting out in this part of the video is going to be the other side of whatever I'm making. So for the cage liners, one side's going to be rainbow and the other side is going to be this star fleece. working on two two by one cage liners so for this part I am cutting out two 35 by 21 
inch pieces. Next, I am cutting out four one by one cage liners. So I am going to be cutting out four pieces that measure 20 by 20 inches. Here I am working on a foam tunnel. So for this part, I am cutting out one 27 by 23 inch piece, one 11 by 27 inch piece, and then two 11 by 25 inch pieces. Next, I am working on a two by one fleece forest. So for this, I do like to make my fleece forest double layered. So to do that, I am cutting out three 30 by 17 inch pieces and then two 17 by 17 inch pieces. Next, I am working on a one by one fleece forest. And again, I like to make these double layered. So for this one, I am just cutting out five 17 by 17 inch pieces. Here I am working on a corner forest. So for this one, I am cutting out a 20 inch triangle and I am cutting out a 20 by 17 inch piece. Next, I am working on a cube. So for this one, I am just cutting out eight 12 by 12 inch pieces. So here really quick, my fabric is folded in half. So since it's folded in half, I can cut out two pieces at once. I do do this for a little bit just to make things go faster. Here I am cutting out a hooded house. So for this, I make sure that my fabric is folded in half when I cut this out. And this piece is gonna measure 36 by 12 inches. Then I am cutting out a 12 inch diameter circle. I will be cutting out three of those.
Next, I will be working on two cuddle cups. So for this, I will be cutting out two 36 by six inch pieces, and I will be cutting out six 12 inch diameter circles. I am cutting out a piece for the snuggle tunnel. Now for this part, I do make my snuggle tunnels a little bit differently now, but for this piece, you want it to be three inches longer on the long side of whatever size tunnel you are making. So I'm just making it a little bit bigger for the inside piece. Now, since I did have a lot of this fabric left, I decided to start cutting some of the woodland animal print that I did in my last video. So here I am starting out with the hooded house where again, I have my fabric folded in half. And for this one, I do like to make the pads out of fleece. So I will be cutting out one piece of the hooded house and then five pieces for the pads and those are going to be 12 inch diameter circles. Next, I am working on the piggy lounge. So for this one, I am cutting out one 22 by 17 inch piece, one 17 by 14 inch piece, one 12 by 10 inch piece, and the sides are gonna be curved. And then I will be cutting out four 14 by 10 inch pieces for the pads. Next, I will be working on two cuddle cups. So for this, I am cutting out two 36 by six inch pieces. And then for the circles, I'm cutting out 10 12 inch circles. working on a piggy home. So for this, I'm going to start out by cutting four 12 by 12 inch pieces for the pads. And then I am going to cut out one 14 by 14 inch piece. 
one 14 by 25 inch piece and then two 14 by 10 inch pieces but the sides of those are going to be curved the second pieces for the cube and for this one I am cutting out 10 12 by 12 inch pieces So after I make the cube, I try to see if I have enough for the foam tunnel, but unfortunately I only had enough for the inside of it. I didn't have enough for the pads. So I'm probably gonna finish cutting out the woodland flannel in, in the next video. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and cut out all of those pieces. Anyways, in my next video, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm sorry, it's going to be a repetitive video, but I'm going to be doing it to the sloth fleece over here. So in my next video, I'm going to be cutting out the second pieces for that. But again, this is what I cut out today. Now, it's a lot of fleece there, so I didn't want to pick it up. And I want to keep my pieces here all together so they don't get mixed up. When you're making a lot of items, you want to make sure when you're cutting these that you do keep them together. That way you do not get confused later. So I'm just going to leave my fleece right there. But anyways, if you guys still like this series, Go ahead and give this video a like and if you guys do want to see more videos from me go ahead and subscribe to my channel and again i want to thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye